Let's try a prime factorization type problem. What are the prime factors of 1575? Well, the first thing we try to do is to draw a tree. And I see that this number ends with a 5. So use your calculator to divide by 5. We get 1575 is equal to 5 times 315. Now 315 itself ends with 5. So I'm going to divide by 5 again. So what we have here is 5 times 63. Now, as you're drawing this tree diagram, it's nice to be able to circle these prime numbers as you're going along. You can call these children, you can call them apples, you can call them leaves. And we have 63. Hopefully we memorized that 9 times 7 is 63. And the 9 can be broken down to 3 times 3, which are also prime numbers. So looking at all the different children here in this uh, tree, tree diagram, we see that the prime factors are 3, 5, and 7. If you want to find the prime factorization, you can look at all these uh, children nodes and write them from smallest to biggest. So 15, 75 is equals to 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. The prime factorization might also be written as 3 to the exponent 2, because there's two of them multiplied, times 5 squared times 7. So this here is a prime factorization, and we have the prime factors being the, the basis. The numbers 3, 5, and 7 are prime factors. Just a little side note, a little silly definition idea here. Prime factors can cannot be divided by anything other than 1 and itself, so 3 is a prime factor, but silly definition is such that 1 is not considered a prime number. So 1 is not considered to be a prime number. So to answer this type of question, I recommend drawing a tree diagram I recommend circling these prime numbers as you're going along and building up this tree. And just be careful not to make a silly mistake. It's probably safer to use your calculator and just divide by a factor just to confirm your result.